Okay, so we have here an integral function. The given is a trigonometric function and we will use the power formula for integration. Same lang ako nga formula natong ginamit on the last video. But uh, on this video, the, the function will now involve trigonometric function. So how do we solve this type of function? Now notice on this, um, on this function, um, there are two factors. We have here the, the sine sine cube x over 2 and we have here the cosine x over 2 okay so there are two um factors now on these two factors yung sine x cube yung my n so yun yung gagamitin natin so yung n ya dyan is equal to 3 take note yung yung exponent na to yung 3 na exponent that is the exponent of the whole function of the whole trigonometric function na sine okay so, the n here is 3, and your u naman is equal to, um, we have the sine x over 2. So, this is your u. Now, to solve for the du, now you will apply the differential of trigonometric function as I have discussed on the previous video. So, the differential of sine that is equal to, um, we have here, the cosine x over 2, derivative of x over 2 and uh, this will be equal to simplifying this one this is cosine x over 2 and derivative of x over 2 this is um one half derivative of x yeah so this is your value for du now the next step naman is to rewrite the equation you will apply, diba, on the power formula, you will apply the left side of the formula. And that is the integral of u raised to n du. So, sabi, dyan, sabi dyan, we have the integral of, yung u natin is sine x over 2. Then, you will raise this function to the exponent, which is yung n, yung 3 natin. Multiplied by du. And your du is, um, let me rewrite it. This is cos sine x over 2 and 1 half dx. Yeah. So this is your du. So this is your u raised to n and this is your du. But that is the left side of the formula, of the power formula for integration. Now, you have to, you have to check if everything in here is present in the original function. So, um, let, let us simplify this first. So this is the integral of yung 3. That's, that's, that's the exponent of the whole trigonometric function. So this, you can rewrite this as sine cube x over 2. Yan. And you have here um, cosine x over 2, 1 half dx. Yan. So on this, this function right here is not exactly equal. Diba? Hindi siya equal because of this... Um, term, I mean, of this quantity, yung one-half. Because yung one-half is not present in the original function. Diba? So, you have to get rid of that. So, paano man? You will multiply the whole function by 2, so that when you multiply 2 by one-half, so the result is 1. So, parang na-cancel out yung one-half dyan. So, that equal lang siya sa original function. So, this time, equal na siya. Okay, then you will apply now the right side of the power formula for integration. And this will be equal to, um, of course, you have to copy 2 because it's outside of the integrals. And um, sabi dun sa right side of the power formula is um, u raised to n over, u raised to n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus c, di ba? So this will be, um, yung u mo is sine x over 2 raised to n plus 1 daw. Yung n mo is 3. It's here, yung 3. So this is 3 plus 1. That is 4. n plus 1 man, di ba? Over n plus 1 over 4 lagi ha. Oops. Of course, plus c. Don't forget the plus c. Yan. Now, all we have to do is to simplify this one. I will write it here. So this is equal to... um. Um, so you will you will distribute two to to this term here and to c. So this will be um, two over four. Um, you have here the sine. Yung four ilalagay ko dito sa sa sine. Sine raised to four x over two. Yan plus. Um, actually, this will be two c. But since two c is is just constant, 
we can write it as C na lang. Yan. And simplifying this further, you will have 1 half sine raised to 4 x over 2 plus C. So this is our final answer. Now, if you want to check, okay, let me just erase this one first. Okay, so to check, uh, we have to get the differential of the function of our result. And that is 1 half sine raised to 4 x over 2 um, plus c. Yeah, so we'll get the differential of this function. Okay, so this will be equal to, so um, differential of, there are two terms, right? this one and this one. Differential of c is 0, so okay lang, never mind the c na lang. So this will be differential of this function is 1 half times the differential of sine raised to 4 x over 2. Yan. And the next one, you have your copy yung one half because it's outside of the differential function na. Then you can use the power formula for differentiation. Diba? So this will be 4 sine raised to 3 x over 2 differential of sine x over 2. Yan. And uh, um, simplifying this further, 1 half times 4, this is multiplied by 4. 1 half times 4, this is 2, right? 2 sine cube x over 2. And differential of sine, that is um, cosine. Cosine x over 2. Differential of x over 2. Yeah. So, this will be... Um, okay. Um, so, simplifying this further, we'll have 2, copy lang, sine cube x over 2 cosine x over 2 differential of x over 2 is 1 half dx yan so 1 half dx yung 1 half when you multiply it by 2 mag, it will cancel out so this will be equal to sine cube x over 2 cosine x over 2 dx now notice that this equation i mean this function is exactly equal to this one Sine cube x over 2 cosine x over 2 dx. So therefore, indeed, our answer is correct. So this is the correct answer. 1 half sine raised to 4 x over 2 plus c. Okay, so we have here example number 2. We have here the integral of cosine raised to 7 y sine y dy. So um, we will solve this using the power formula. Okay, so out of these factors, there are two factors, diba? This one and this one. Out of these two factors, ito lang naman yung my exponent. I mean, it has, my exponent din naman yung sine. The exponent is 1. So, mas higher kasi yung exponent ng cosine. So, we'll use that as our n. And our u is um, cosine y. Yan. And our du, therefore, differential of cosine y is negative sine y dy. Yan. Now, the next step is to um, apply the left side of the formula, of the power formula for integration, and that is the integral of u raised to n du. Diba? u raised to n du. So, yung u mo is cosine y raised to n daw, that is 7. Yung du mo is negative sine y dy. Now, notice that this um, this function right here is not exactly the same on the original function. So you have to do something about it. Yung, the, the quantity that make this two not equal is yung negative one dito. Diba? So you have to get rid of the negative one. So you will multiply this by negative one because negative one multiplied by negative one that is positive one. So equal na siya sa original function. So simplifying this, um, you'll, copy, you'll just copy the negative one because it's outside of the integral. We'll now apply the right side of the power formula for integration. And that is equal to u raised to n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus c. Diba? So this will be, yung u mo is cos sine y raised to n plus 1. Yung n mo is 7. n plus 1, that would be 8 over n plus 1. That is 8, of course, plus c. Don't forget the plus c. Yan. Then you will um, distribute negative 1. So this will be simplifying this one. This will be 
um, negative 1 over 8 cosine, I'll just put 8 here, plus negative 1 C or I'll just put C na lang because anyway, constant din laman siya. Okay, so this is our final answer. So this will be our final answer for um, this sample problem. So let us try to check this one. So how do we check this one? Okay, okay to check this, to check, we will get the differential of our result and that is negative 1 over 8 cosine raised to 8y plus c. So differentiating this one, course this will be equal to negative 1 over 8 and the differential of cosine raised to 8 y yan because the differential of c naman is 0 so never mind that okay evaluating this one this will be equal to um so we'll use the power formula for differentiation and that is um 8 cosine raised to 7 y times the differential of cosine y. Yan. Simplifying this, um, negative 1 over 8 times 8, that is, ma-cancel out man, diba? So this will be negative cosine raised to 7 y. And differential of cosine, that is um, negative sine y dy. Yan. Negative multiplied by negative, this is positive. So, ang result mo is cosine raised to 7y sine y dy. Which is exactly the same with what is given here. Cosine raised to 7y sine y dy. So, indeed, our answer is indeed negative 1 over 8 cosine raised to 8y plus c. Yun.